you have now joined Movies Review with Imperial. Today's movie review, as you can see, is Two Rainer, starring Alicia Vikander. This is a reboot of the 90s version of Tomb Raider from the video game originally starring as Angelina Jolie. This reboot to me was National Treasure starring Nicolas Cage meets Goonies. It had action in the film. I didn't care for the storyline too much. And it is a movie. So a movie in Hollywood, they can make a lot of things that is not realistic happen on film. But it's some things that happen on film that are just like outrageous. Just like are you kidding me that 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 took place and that was able to happen so uh the story starts out uh laura croft is basically an adult who's trying to live life not living off the, her inheritance that was left to her from her father and just trying to live life moving on. Her dad had went on a voyage or adventure about seven years prior to where the movie starts off at and he never returned. So they basically wrote him off as being dead. So um, she never gave up hope that he's still alive and she's like a, some type of carrier in the film. And she gets in some trouble and her caretaker comes and bails her out. Meanwhile, telling her that she doesn't have to live the way she's been living. She has an inheritance and she needs to sign these papers. And if she doesn't sign the papers, pretty much all her father's work, everything that she he worked hard for, would be lost. So that triggered her to come and sign the papers. Upon signing the papers, she was given some little puzzle thing that he normally had around the house when growing up. And upon her opening it, before she signed the papers, it had like a little message on there that triggered her to go to the house that she grew up in and go to the, the tomb area of the house and triggered her to open a secret passageways in the tomb area of her old house or whatever. From there, she goes and finds all these things her father was into, and he left a message for her telling her to get rid of this box because if the world got a hold of this box, the world would be in danger. Of course, the rebellious side of her didn't listen, and she pretty much uh, looked all into it, and it triggered her. This is where her father went to and disappeared, so it triggered her to say, well, I need to go find him. I need to go at least see what happened to him. Did he die or not, or what's what? So that's where the movie pretty much starts off, her voyage right there, and then a lot of things happen from there. So without giving any further more about the story or any spoilers, that's pretty much the gist of the movie. But uh, it had some action-packed scenes. I guess it was okay for a reboot. Um, the newer generation could come right on from watching this movie and tune in. And uh, my four-point star rating system, I give this movie a two. A two out of four. 
action packed, but the storyline didn't do it for me. And a lot of things that took place in the movie was just ridiculous, ridiculously unreal. However, the actress, Alicia Vikander, she was great. I, I liked it how she portrayed the character and her acting. And other than that, um, stay tuned to the next review.